Good afternoon, everybody. Firstly, I'd like to take this opportunity to send a very warm welcome to all the viewers across Europe who are following Nintendo Direct. As many of you may know, my name is Satoru Iwata, and I am the global president of Nintendo. Today, I am speaking to you from the shield room in the Nintendo headquarters in Japan. I have just completed the Nintendo Direct filming, which is specific to those in Japan, and I am very pleased that this time we are able to provide you with a dedicated European Nintendo Direct. I very much appreciate the diversity of Europe. Each country has its own sense of culture and unique spirit, and this is why today I am very happy to welcome you to a Nintendo Direct, which is specific and relevant for all our fans from across Europe. Today, we are bringing the latest European news to you directly, showing you the variety games you can expect to play very soon and some plans we have for upcoming titles a little further in the future. To do that, I'd like to hand over now to the European president of Nintendo, a man who not only shares my first name, but who is one of my letterbox friends on Nintendo 3DS, Satoru Shibata. I hope you enjoy the rest of this Nintendo Direct and thank you very much for spending the next around 30 minutes with us, with Mr. Shibata guiding you through. Thank you, Mr. Iwata, for your introduction, and welcome to our viewers across Europe. Today, we are in my office in the Nintendo of Europe headquarters in Germany. I'd like to get started right away by talking about one of our most anticipated titles, arriving in shops May 25th and involving a game that's very close to my heart as a big tennis fan, Mario Tennis Open. Mario Tennis has a strong history on Nintendo platforms, with many different games you may remember on consoles, including the Nintendo 64 and Nintendo GameCube, and each providing a slightly different spin on the game of tennis, Mario style. Now we are really excited to bring you a unique Mario tennis experience, only possible on Nintendo 3DS. First, I'd like to talk a little about customization. Mario Tennis Open is the first Mario tennis game that lets you play using your me character. Naturally, you can also play using one of 16 characters from the Mario universe, like Mario, Peach, or Bowser. But using your Mii character allows you to play in a slightly different way. For a start, you can customize your Mii character. There are about 200 items to collect, and these are pieces of clothing and equipment such as a new rackets, wristbands, or whole tennis kits styled after different characters. Each item can change the tennis skills of your me, for example, your power, spin, or the way you move. It's fun to unlock and try different items, but importantly, you can try out these different items until you end up with exactly the kind of tennis player you prefer. Whether you love powerful play or take a more tactical view on the court like me. You can now enjoy designing a player that plays like you, or at least the way you wish you could play. As you may know, there are lots of multiplayer options in Mario Tennis Open. You can play locally with friends and family in the same room, and you can also use Download Play. With Download Play, 
Even if just one person has a game card, up to four players can enjoy a game of tennis together. And what I'm most excited about is the online multiplayer mode. You can now play friends, family, and also other people in your region online. There is even a regional leaderboard for you to tackle to see if you have what it takes to be European champion. And the best part is you can use that me character you've customized to play against other people in your own unique style, making this the most personalized game of Mario Tennis you've ever played. Look out for me too, as I will certainly be taking part in online matches once the game launches across Europe on May 25th. We recommend heading to Nintendo eShop to see a 3D version. And as you might have seen in the trailer, there will be further surprises in the near future. So please stay tuned and check our website or follow our Twitter account. Speaking of multiplayer gaming that's new and exciting brings me to the next topic I'd like to mention today. Kit Icarus Uprising has been on sale for several weeks now, and we'd like to thank the European players for their warm reception of the title. Many people have commented on the immense depth and scope of gameplay to be found as you play through this title. We have prepared a short video today to look at how you can find and use stronger weapons and how to make the most of them if you want to beat your friends in multiplayer modes. In air battles, you don't move as fast while you're shooting. So it's easier to dodge if you focus on charge shots instead of just firing continuously. You can also change aiming sensitivity and turning speed using the reticle camera setting in options. If you make the controls more fluid, it's easier to turn to face other directions. It depends on your preferences, but adjusting this so that it's a bit quicker can make it easier. Dash left or right when your reticle is over an enemy to do a dash around. Make sure to keep holding your stylus down on the touchscreen. This is important. You receive weapons whether you win a match or lose. But if you don't move at all, then you won't get anything. This is a good combination if you're using a staff. You can deal damage to enemies behind walls.
Once you finish the game, you unlock a secret option that lets you change to the Viridi solo menu. And of course, you can make offerings too. There will be a longer, more in depth version soon available on the Nintendo Direct website. Please don't forget to check back. Finally, some news that will be the icing on the cake for Kid Icarus fans who enjoy collecting the AR Idol cards. We are pleased to announce that we've entered into an exclusive partnership with Panini. We are sure many of you will have some experience of collecting all sorts of Panini stickers. Soon, you will be able to purchase additional packs of Kitty Icarus AR Idol cards in stores, as well as an album to keep your collection in. We hope this way you will get even more joy when collecting and trading with your friends. Our next announcement for Nintendo 3DS concerns a game that introduces an entirely new world with original characters fresh gameplay, and that uses the features of Nintendo 3DS in quite a new way. It's Heroes of Ruin from Square Enix. The multiplayer mode in particular is very extensive and features real-time voice chat with other gamers, providing an even more immersive experience. We have a very special and exclusive video which takes a closer look at this incredibly rich multiplayer mode, with the development team providing us some insight. Hi, this is Tim Schwalk, producer on Heroes of Ruin at InSpace, and today we're going to focus on multiplayer gameplay and the Gunslinger. Here you can see how our seamless multiplayer experience works. As a host, you'll get a notification when someone joins or leaves your game, and at that point, the difficulty of the level will adjust itself on the fly. Up to three others can join my game, either locally or over Wi-Fi, and these can be either friends or strangers. You can voice chat with friends over Wi-Fi, and you can even talk to non-friended players, if your system's parental control settings allow for it. Here's an example of a simple strategy you can use when you combine a ranged character with a melee character. The Savage can keep enemies at bay with a strong melee attacks while the Gunslinger fires at them from a safe distance. There are, of course, more in-depth strategies where specific powers are concerned, but this is a tried-and-true way to combine forces. As with all battles in the game, this one actually becomes more difficult as additional players join the fray. Of course, with additional allies, you open yourself up to all sorts of strategic advantages. One cool thing to note is that all buffs are shared between party members at certain distances when they're at their max level. Another cool thing is that you can earn benefits by playing with your friends. As you play with a friend, you can level up your friendship rank, earning boosts that only exist while playing with that specific friend. For example, if Tony and I are level 1 friends, then our health and energy will replenish as we hit checkpoints, but only if we're in a game together. The bonuses only get better from there. Heroes of Ruin is a lot of fun when playing alone, but the full potential of the title is unlocked when you join the quest to cure Ataraxis with other gamers. Watch for Heroes of Ruin, coming soon exclusively to the Nintendo 3DS. I can also confirm today that new downloadable challenges will be available for free every day for an entire year after launch. These scenarios will offer players daily trials and allow them to test their combat skills and earn rewards. I also wanted to mention the Heroes of Ruin official website, which aims to create a strong community around the game. The website will allow players to deepen their Heroes of Ruin experience even further. For example, players will be able to check their stats and aim for the top of the game's leaderboards. It will also offer many other exciting possibilities for players to expand and share their game experience. 
Heroes of Ruin will be available in Europe from June 15th exclusively for Nintendo 3DS. Now I'd like to talk about the Pokemon series. We announced a little while ago that the next game in the Pokemon series for Nintendo DS, Pokemon Black version 2 and Pokemon White version 2, are not only in development, but will be out in Europe this autumn. Pokemon Black version 2 and Pokemon White version 2 are for Nintendo DS, but of course they can also be played on Nintendo 3DS since it's compatible with Nintendo DS software. Today I'd like to show you two Nintendo 3DS download software titles that can increase your enjoyment of Pokemon Black version 2 and Pokemon White version 2 even more. First, I'd like to introduce you to a piece of software whose Japanese title is Pokemon AR Searcher. It's a title that brings Pokemon into the real world right in front of your eyes with AR, or augmented reality technology. This is a motion control shooting game where you have to catch Pokemon that appear around you in the real world. Players move their Nintendo 3DS and aim at the Pokemon moving around them. You can catch Pokemon by hitting them with a beam. Sometimes it's even possible to catch extremely rare Pokemon in this way. Better still, once you capture some Pokemon, you will be able to transfer them to the new Pokemon Black version 2 and Pokemon White version 2 titles. This will be on sale from Nintendo eShop later this year. As I mentioned, we have another download software titles to announce. When Pokedex 3D came out in 2011 as a free download on Nintendo eShop, it was snapped up by many Nintendo 3DS owners. We are now pleased to announce that soon we will have a fantastic new Pokedex for you. The original Pokédex 3D contained detailed data on over 150 Pokémon from the first Pokémon Black version and Pokémon White version games. But with the new version, you can now check every Pokémon in the history of the series, which is sure to be a big help when deciding your strategies for the new Pokémon Black version 2 and Pokémon White version 2 games this autumn. There are many other new features too, so look out for further announcement on this title soon. This will also be on sale from Nintendo eShop later this year. Next up, we turn our attention to an icon in a completely different area, but surely one of the most famous and well-loved characters of all time. Disney Epic Mickey for Wii arrived in shops in 2010, and many fans of gaming, Disney or both, took up the challenge to battle through puzzle, adventure, and action with a paintbrush in hand. You may have heard that a brand new Disney Epic Mickey game for Nintendo 3DS is in development from Disney, headed up again by well-known developer Warren Spector. Luckily for us, Mr. Spector made a special exclusive trailer to tell us a little more about what to expect from this new title. Hi, my name is Warren Spector, VP and Creative Director at Disney's Junction Point Studios. I'm pleased to be with you, virtually, to introduce the new game from Junction Point and our partners at Dream Rift Studios, the all-new Disney Epic Mickey Power of Illusion for the Nintendo 3DS. Power of Illusion is a unique, standalone game set in Wasteland, the setting for the Disney Epic Mickey games on the Nintendo Wii, and featuring the paint and thinner focus of those games as well. But Disney Epic Mickey Power of Illusion offers all new, all original platforming gameplay designed from the ground up to take advantage of the dual screens and stereoscopic 3D capabilities of the 3DS. In addition to being inspired by the Disney Epic Mickey games, Power of Illusion blends Wasteland mythology 
with characters and gameplay elements from the beloved classic Castle of Illusion game of the 1990s. In Power of Illusion, the evil witch Miserabel, Castle of Illusion's villain, is forgotten and trapped in Wasteland, and she's desperate to escape. Her castle, as well as her powers of illusion, are intact too, and she uses them to put into effect a scheme to draw the essences of beloved Disney characters from the world of games and cartoons and trapping them in Wasteland. Eventually, she plans to collect enough Toon Essence to propel her back to the world of popular characters from which she came. It's up to Mickey, with help from Oswald the Lucky Rabbit and other Wastelanders, to run, jump, draw, and erase his way through stunning Disney-inspired environments to free the trapped characters and thwart Miserabelle's plan. I hope you're as eager as I am to return to the Castle of Illusion. We have plenty more to talk about, so I hope you'll check in regularly for updates about Disney Epic Mickey, Power of Illusion. Thanks for having me here. From one Disney world to another, as we delve next into the world of Kingdom Hearts. Square Enix has created another deep and rich gameplay experience with their latest entry in the famous series, Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance for Nintendo 3DS. In the game, you will play as two of the series' most popular characters, Sora and Riku. In order to become true Keyblade masters, they will visit new worlds, battle new creatures, and breed and train over 50 different types of spirit who can fight alongside them. Today, we can confirm to you that this title will be available on July 20th this year. We have another title I'd like to talk about, which was only announced very recently for Europe by publisher Square Enix. It's a perfect blend of rhythm, battling, and addictive gameplay set in the iconic world of Final Fantasy. It's a theaterism Final Fantasy exclusive for Nintendo 3DS. The game features characters and over 70 pieces of familiar music from many Final Fantasy games in the long-running series, which will really be a trip down memory lane for fans. If you have never played a Final Fantasy game before, this is a fantastic introduction to some of the elements that have made the series so compelling, but played in a completely new way. 
Share Tourism Final Fantasy will be available in Europe this summer. Why don't we have a closer look at the Wii console now? We know that many people have been waiting excitedly for Beat the Beat Rhythm Paradise. And I'm very pleased to confirm for you today that the final date is now July 6. In a special addition to the European version of Beat the Beat Rhythm Paradise, I can reveal you will also be able to play with songs from the Japanese game. It will give players an opportunity to experience both versions of the catchy tunes and gameplay. Let's watch and listen to some examples which European fans will be able to enjoy. Peggy 7 We now come to the final part of today's presentation, and for that, I'd like to focus again on Nintendo 3DS. As many of you know, we released system updates for Nintendo 3DS that provides new features and improvement to existing features. Our next system update will take place on April 25th and I'd like to give you a little more information about it. Something we have heard as feedback from Nintendo 3DS owners is that because there have been many new releases of Nintendo eShop titles, 3D videos and ad demos, it can be difficult to manage the home menu. That's why we are providing the option to use folders as part of the next system update. As you can see here, you can create a holder in an empty space on the home menu and place software icon inside. Up to 60 icons can be stored in each folder. You can then assign each folder a name and the first letter of the name will be displayed on the folder. By creating folders, you can sort and order your home menu icon exactly as you like and find the software you are looking for easily. Also, this system update will allow you to download update data for software titles, commonly referred to as patches, allowing you to update your software titles. We plan on releasing update data for Mario Kart 7 in mid-May. This update data will remove unfair shortcuts that occur when you play online. I'm sorry for any frustrating experiences caused by this and hope that this update data will allow plenty more people to enjoy the game as intended. Once this update data is released, you will need to download it from Nintendo eShop in order to play online. Next, we had a very interesting experience in Europe 
with Nintendo 3DS recently, and it involved one of the most famous museums in the world, the Louvre in Paris. As part of an ongoing partnership between Nintendo and the Louvre Museum, we have provided the Louvre with Nintendo 3DS system that feature an exclusive audio guide. The guide is provided in seven different languages and includes an interactive map that allows visitors to see exactly where they are in the museum. It also offers over 700 commentaries on different artworks, providing a wealth of information for any visitor. It contains commentaries on both well-known artworks and also on some that are less famous, meaning that all visitors can learn something new when they tour the museum in a fun and interactive way. The audio guide Loop Nintendo 3DS is already available for visitors to enjoy, and we hope you will take advantage of it next time you are in Paris and visiting the Louvre Museum. And finally today, it's time to look at the game that we are incredibly excited to confirm for Europe. I can tell you that the new 2D side-scrolling Super Mario games, now confirmed as a new Super Mario Bros. 2, is in full development. This is a completely new game allowing you to experience the much-loved 2D Mario gameplay on Nintendo 3DS. We are aiming for a new standard of 2D Mario game that will be accessible to anyone. And the best news is that we will be launching this new title in August this year, meaning you only have a few months to wait before you can get your hands on it. That's my final update for the first dedicated European Nintendo Direct. And I'd like to thank you very much for joining me. Please make sure you check out more updates and links and all the videos you saw today on the Nintendo of Europe website, YouTube channel, and official Twitter feeds. Thanks for joining us, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.